Colleen Tyson, a librarian at Special Collections, had to take to a microscope to find out what was inside this book. Turns out it contains the Bible's first chapter of Genesis. At about 4 millimeters, it was made to be sold at the 1965 World's Fair. It was thought to be the smallest book in the world at the time, made to show off their tiny printing technology. And it had been a pair with one that was larger, that had the same text ten times larger, that had been sold as a pair so that there was one you could read. As time went on, these micro-miniature books got smaller and smaller. These micro-miniature books were made in Tokyo in 1980 and at the time held the Guinness World Record for the smallest books. They're about two millimeters in size. But there are a wide array of sizes, as well as subjects, in the Charlotte Smith Miniature Book Collection, named after its founder. These artist books are some of the more recent editions among many older books. The oldest date back to the 16th century and were made with movable type, which means each tiny letter was set one at a time. Some are made in sets, such as a set of Shakespeare's works. You know, it's the complete works of Shakespeare in a box, and so that's something that people want to have. They want to have all of them. But you'll see that again and again, um, where an entire set will be printed in miniature. Though many people don't know about the collection, Special Collections has a blog on Tumblr and it's given them more recognition. Visitors can view the site or stop in to see the collection in person. Reporting from the University of Iowa, I'm Katie Stites.